What's up guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a cool little device called the SwitchBot. Now you may have heard of this thing, you may not. This thing can basically be used to automate really anything around the house with a button or an on off switch such as you know a coffee machine, a computer, TVs, light switches, you name it. It does support Alexa, Google Assistant, as well as IFTT, but there's no HomeKit support. But you know that's not gonna stop me. I found a way to get this thing to work inside HomeKit so I can finally automate my coffee pot, my Keurig machine that I have not been able to automate with HomeKit until now. And the exciting thing is this process will work with any device that supports IFTTT. So stay tuned to check out how I did that. And I've even got some extra switch bots that I'm gonna be giving away at the end. So stay tuned to find out how you can win some of those. Let's do it. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me again today. And for those new here, welcome. My name is Shane and on this channel, I'm building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new videos getting published every single Sunday right here. So if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon so you don't miss out when we post new HomeKit videos every week. Now, first of all, I wanna say thank you to SwitchBot for sponsoring today's video. They did send me some of their products so that we could work on these automations and home kit and I could share with you today. They also provided me with some extra switch bots that I'm gonna give away, so stay tuned to the end to see how you can win some of those. So if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you probably know I love automations. But one thing I have not been able to automate with my HomeKit setup has been my Keurig coffee machine. You know, I tried the obvious solution, just being a smart plug to cut it on and off with my scenes and everything, but this is one of those devices that still requires you to push the power button, even if you uh, plug it and unplug it essentially. So I've not been able to automate this with my HomeKit setup. So I have my lights and everything comes on in the morning when I snooze my alarm, everything automates great. But when I come out, I still have to turn on the coffee pot and wait there for it to heat up. Ideally, it could come on with the rest of my lights and start warming up before I ever come out there and then it'll be ready for me to brew my first cup. Well, I haven't been able to do that until now thanks to the SwitchBot. This thing pretty much allows you to automate the pushing of any button or even switch. There's a lot of configurations and stuff that you can use and set this up with that will probably allow you to uh, find a good solution for whatever it is you're trying to automate. The SwitchBot itself connects via Bluetooth to your phone and the app, super easy to use and connect. But then if you wanna get further functionality controlling with you know Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, or IFTT, uh, you have to use what's called the Hub Mini, and we can use this to get extra functionality. This basically connects your SwitchBots to Wi-Fi so you can control them remotely and use your voice assistance. Now the Hub Mini can also be used to control all of your infrared remotes and home appliances and connect them to the internet, allowing you to control them from anywhere. Maybe that's something we'll save for another day. It actually supports Siri shortcuts as well, which you guys probably know I love my Siri shortcuts, so uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that which may be enough for most people this is really easy you can set up the series shortcut include that maybe in a morning shortcut or something like that but I want to take this a step further and see if I could get the switch bot inside my home kit setup this way I can include it in my scenes and automations now it unfortunately does not support home kit but that has never stopped us before since it does support IFTTT I'm basically going to be able to use an IFTTT plugin in hoops to expose the SwitchBot to HomeKit. Now the exciting thing is this process will work with any device that supports IFTTT. So not just SwitchBots, but anything that supports IFTTT and maybe not HomeKit, this process will work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Setup could not be any easier. First, just download the SwitchBot app to your phone. Then just pull the tab on the SwitchBot to activate the device. And since it uses Bluetooth, it'll show up automatically inside the app. And you can see here, it's already working using its Bluetooth connection. Next, we'll open our SwitchBot Hub Mini so we can get this connected to our Wi-Fi and use it with If This Then That, as well as Siri shortcuts. You can see it comes with some instructions, a 3M sticky pad, and a micro USB cable. So once we plug it in, open up the SwitchBot app again. You'll need to create an account if you haven't already and sign in. Once signed in, choose Add Device from the menu and select our Hub Mini. Press and hold the button until the light starts flashing. Then we'll have to enter our Wi-Fi information to get this thing connected. 
And there we go, it's all connected to our Wi-Fi. We can now use the app remotely anywhere, you know, to control our switch bot. We also now can set this up with Siri shortcuts as I'm gonna show you. But first I'm gonna take my black switch bot and put this on my Keurig machine. I'm actually kind of struggled with this for a minute because I didn't want to cover up any of my other buttons or get those in the way. So I ended up settling on this solution right here. Uh, it's kind of hanging off the side. And I thought surely this probably would not last kind of only using about half of that sticky pad on the back, but I'm here to tell you this thing has an extremely sticky pad on the back and I've been using it for over a couple weeks now like this and it has not fallen off. I've been using the switch bot to turn on the coffee pot just about every day and the thing is still on there hanging off like this and it works great. Now let's get back to our setup so we can automate this with Siri shortcuts and HomeKit. First I'll show you how to just set up a quick Siri shortcut so you can use the switch bot with Siri or in your other shortcuts and then we'll go a little bit more advanced and I'll show you how you can incorporate this using IFTTT inside hoops. First tap the settings of the specific bot you want to add to the shortcuts then toggle on cloud service. Now since connecting the hub to Wi-Fi you see we have many options including Google Assistant, Amazon, IFTTT and Siri shortcuts. Just tap the Siri shortcuts, choose the action and give it a name. Now you can add this to your other Siri shortcuts or simply use Siri as a way to control your switch bot. So let's try it. Hey Siri, switch bot button press. Okay, done. And there you go. Just like that, it works with our Siri shortcuts. Now for the fun part, let's get this thing to work in HomeKit. So what you're gonna need for this setup is either Hoobs or HomeBridge as well as an IFTTT account. Essentially, there are two main parts to this automation we're gonna have to set up. First, we'll have to set up a webhook in IFTTT that says, if the webhook is triggered, then turn on our switch bot. For the second part, we're gonna use an IFTTT plugin with Hoobs to create a new accessory in HomeKit that's gonna trigger that webhook. Okay, so let's start by going to ifttt.com on my computer, and if you don't have an account already, sign up for one. All right, so we're at ifttt.com. Let's go to create. Tap on the create button. First, we're gonna tap this. So this is the first part of our automation. We're gonna tap, we're gonna search for webhooks. Okay, right there, click on that. If this is the first time you've used webhooks in ifttt.com, you're gonna have to click the connect button to connect the service. Okay, so there we go, we're connected. Now we can choose receive a web request. We'll tap that. And here you can name it whatever you want. We'll call ours switch bot underscore black one. So remember this, we're gonna use this name later. Choose create trigger. Okay. Now we're gonna choose that. So this is what's gonna happen when that web hook is triggered. And we're gonna search for switch bot. And here, since SwitchBot supports IFTT, you will see this. We're gonna click Connect. If this is the first time you've used SwitchBot with IFTTT, put in your credentials for your SwitchBot app. And there we go. Uh, here is all the actions. You can see there's lots of them available. We're gonna do Bot Press right here. This action will trigger the specified bot to press the switch. We're gonna choose that. And here I can choose uh, which bots I have set up already in my account. We're gonna choose uh, the black bot, create action. I can turn off receive notifications because I don't need that. So here you see if the uh, webhook is triggered, then press black bot, finish. And there we go, we have set up the first part. That was pretty easy. Now we'll need to open up Hoobs, or if you're using a home bridge, you can use that, but I use Hoobs, and we're going to uh, use the IFTTT plugin to create a new accessory in HomeKit. So let's go on over to Hoobs. Uh, I'm gonna sign in. First thing you'll need to do is install the, Ho the IFTTT plugin if you don't have it already, so let's search for that. Uh, here it is, this one right here. You can see IFTTT, Homebridge plugin for IFTTT maker channel. We're gonna install this. Okay, I'm gonna choose details. And then I'm gonna click on this sample config right here. 
All right, here's a sample config JSON file that you can use. You can actually do a whole lot with this plugin. You can create a single accessory in HomeKit with multiple switches inside it, kind of like those grouped accessories or tiles. You can do a lot with this, so play around and figure out what works best for your setup. But for this, I'm going to highlight starting right here, and I'm gonna go down to uh, this right here. And I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to our hoob setup and we're gonna tap on the settings icon and choose IFTTT right here. I'm gonna highlight this section right here and I'm going to paste. Now a couple of things we need to do, we need to, you can see right here, there are some errors, okay? So you'll always know, one thing I like about hoobs is it lets you know if there's an error immediately and as well once it's fixed. So I'm gonna remove that comma, we don't need that. Okay, next we're gonna need to add this close, oh, this close bracket, as well as, let's see, I think another curly bracket, and then another close one right there, and there you go, you can see our error has went away, so that is it. Okay, so this is basically creating a, a new accessory called accessory one, and then this is the caption, and here you can actually set up multiple buttons within this one accessory, much like those group tiles that you, can, that you see in HomeKit, uh, but we're only gonna need one, so I'm not gonna worry about creating multiple ones. Actually, I don't want it to be a stateful switch. I want it to just turn off right after it gets turned on because like I said, that's how I want this to work with my setup. I'm gonna remove the delay. I don't need that. Uh, you can actually set up different webhooks for trigger on and trigger off, which is really cool. Uh, so you can do a whole lot with this um, if you want, but I don't need that either. So I'm gonna remove that and actually, I'm gonna call this trigger. And that trigger is gonna be that event name that we gave a webhook, so that was switchbot underscore black one for me. Oh, we need to remove this comma here. As you can see, we don't need that now, okay. And this here is gonna be our name of the accessory. So I'm gonna call this coffee machine. And then the name up here, since we only have one accessory in here, it doesn't matter much, but I'm gonna call this IFTTT buttons. Okay, now you can see right here, this is the only part left we have to do. Now to get this, we need to go back to IFTTT, choose explore and search for webhooks again. Tap on services, click webhook services. Okay, now here you should see the settings option up here. We're gonna tap on that. And here you're going to see this long URL string right here. Okay, this is what we need. This is the key that we need. Uh, you can just select the letters and the number, that long string after that last slash right there. I'm going to copy this, go back into hoops, and this is where we're gonna paste in our key. Paste. And there we go, I'm gonna hit save changes. Okay, now if we go into our um, accessories here, under unassigned, you can see IFTTT buttons. I could turn that on and off. Now, if we look inside HomeKit and go to my default room, which is where the Hoobs accessories automatically goes by default, and I can, of course, change this. Here, you're gonna see our coffee machine now shows up as a switch in HomeKit. If I tap it, it's just gonna turn on and off real quick, but it's gonna trigger that webhook and IFTT to turn my switch spot on and off. And there you go, it works. I can now toggle my coffee machine on and off here using this switch. And I can't tell you how happy I am to finally have this automation working thanks to SwitchBot and its integration with IFTTT and as well as using Hoobs or Homebridge, I can now get this to work. This is something I was not able to automate as I said before. I'm gonna put this inside my morning scene so now when I snooze my alarm, all my lights are gonna come on, my fan's gonna cut off, and now my coffee pot is gonna start heating up 
So once I come into the kitchen, everything's gonna be ready to go and I can start making my first cup of coffee without having to wait at all. You can really do a lot with these switches in HomeKit. You can do a lot with these switch bots around the house, control computers, fans, printers, switches, wall switches, all kinds of stuff, maybe that you weren't able to automate for various reasons beforehand. Uh, you can really get creative and really tailor it to fit your needs and your specific setup. Now, as I said in the beginning, SwitchBot has provided me with a few extras for me to give away. Um, I'm going to be giving away a few of the SwitchBot button pressers like we use today, as well as a couple of the Hub Minis. So you can get this thing working with your series shortcuts and maybe even into HomeKit like we did today. Instructions are gonna be real simple, but I'll put information and all that down below. I'm gonna do a giveaway on Instagram. Basically, just follow me and follow SwitchBot on Instagram and then tag two friends in the SwitchBot giveaway Instagram post. You have one week to enter for this giveaway and um, good luck to everybody who enters. Thanks again to SwitchBot for sponsoring this video and providing me with some extra products that I can give away to you guys. Uh, and let me know in the comments down below, what are some creative, cool automations or ways you can think of to use a device like this? I'm sure you guys have some great ideas, so feel free to drop those in the comments down below so we can all kind of share and get some great ideas together. I hope you guys got something out of this video and enjoy this if you did please hit that like button and share with your friends if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so I'm dropping new home kit videos every Sunday right here on this channel thank you guys so much for watching and until next week we'll see y'all later